Welcome to another video by JustQuant.com. In our previous videos, we have seen how to calculate squares of two digit numbers using the duplex methodology. Now, in this video, we shall extend the same technique to calculate the squares of three digit numbers. We will first have a look at the duplex of numbers before applying them to calculate the square of three digit numbers. For a single digit number, say a, duplex of a is a square, and for a number with two digits, say a, b, duplex of a, b is two times a multiplied by b. We have used these two duplexes to calculate the squares of two digit numbers. Now, to calculate the squares of three digit numbers, we also need to find the duplex of three digits say, A, B, C, which is two times A times C added to B square. For example, duplex of three is three square or nine, and duplex of 43 is two times four multiplied by three or 24 and duplex of 125 is 2 times 1, multiplied by 5, plus 2 square, which is 14. Now with this knowledge of duplexes, we will see how we can square three-digit numbers easily. Consider a general three-digit number, say, XYZ. The square of XYZ will have five parts. During calculations, we shall pass from the rightmost duplex to the leftmost duplex. The rightmost part will be duplex of Z, the next part will be duplex of YZ, the middle part will be duplex of XYZ, the one after that will be duplex of XY, and finally the leftmost part will be duplex of X. Let us now consider an example. Take 321 square. Now using our duplex methodology, we know that the square will have five parts. The rightmost part will be duplex of 1, the next part will be duplex of 21, the middle part will be duplex of 321, the one after that will be duplex of 32, and finally, the leftmost part will be duplex of 3. We know that the duplex of 1 is 1 square, or 1. Duplex of 21 is 2 times 2 multiplied by 1 which is 4. Duplex of 321 is 2 times 3, multiplied by 1, added to 2 square. Hence, duplex of 321 is 10. Next, duplex of 32 is 2 times 3, multiplied by 2, which is 12. And finally, duplex of 3 is 3 square, or 9. Now in some of these parts, we notice that some duplexes have more than one digit. Please note, that only the leftmost part can have more than one digit. For the rest of the parts, we need to carry over the number preceding the unit's digit to the immediate left part, and add it there respectively. Hence for 10 which has 1 as the non-unit's digit, we need to carry over 1 to the immediate left which turns 12 to 13. Now again, 13 is a two-digit duplex and hence, we carry 1 to the left turning 9 to 10. Hence, combining all parts, we find that the square of 321 is 103,041. Let us look into another example. Consider 676 square. Now using our duplex methodology, the square will have five parts. The rightmost part will be duplex of 6, the next part will be duplex of 76, the middle part will be duplex of 676, the one after that will be duplex of 67, and finally, the leftmost part will be duplex of 6. We know that the duplex of 6 is 6 square, which is 36. To make our calculations faster, let us carry over the non-unit digit numbers, now itself. Hence we carry over 3 to the immediate left part. Now we add 3 to the duplex of 76, which is 3 plus 2 times 7 multiplied by 6. That is 3 plus 84, or 87. Here again, 
the non-units digit that is, 8, is carried over and added to the duplex of 676, which is, 8 added to 2 times, 6 multiplied by 6 plus 7 square that is, 8 added to 121, or, 129. Now 12, is carried over and added to the duplex of 67, which is, 12 added to 2 times 6 multiplied by 7, or, 12 plus 84, which is, 96. Now, 9 is added to the duplex of 6, which is, 9 added to 6 square, or, 45. Hence by combining all the parts, we get the square of 676, which is, 456,976. So with this, we end our video on squares of numbers with three digits. In the next video, we shall talk about how to calculate squares of numbers with four digits. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. Thank you.